Today and every day, WDRB honors our nation's heroes. And we recently traveled along with Honor Flight Bluegrass as a group of more than 80 veterans got to see the memorials dedicated to their service. For many of them, it was their very first time to the nation's capital. <laughs> I think the one thing that always comes up during an honor fight is it shouldn't be about me. It, what we need to do is honor those that never came home. A couple of guys that I was with that were killed, uh, I brought their photograph with me so that I could put their picture on the, against their name. It brings some closure to it. When I was younger, it didn't bother me so much, but now that I've gotten older and I realize these, these guys, they, never, they were never married, so they never knew the they never knew a loving wife. Um, they never had children that they would push on the swing. They never got to spoil their grandchildren. So that's what I thought about it. And so it, it kind of gets to me more now than it did when I was younger, actually. In the meantime, we want you to sit back, relax, and enjoy our short flight to our nation's capital. Again, welcome aboard. I've been honored. I've been in the service, and I feel like this would be a great honor. They will, they will honor us, and, and I will really be thankful that I'm, I'm an American. Oh, that's a great welcome. Man, that's so nice. That everybody hollering and clapping and everything. What a welcome. That's really nice of them. This is a celebration honoring our veterans that have paid the ultimate sacrifice often for what we've done. They allow us, to, for you and me, to do what we do today. And we can't thank our veterans enough, all veterans. Dad, what do you think about this? It's unbelievable. It's just my first time being in Washington, D.C. This is just amazing that now we're recognized. And so I appreciate that. When you see these over 50,000 names of Vietnam veterans who lost their lives, and that's probably the most emotional part of the day. Well, that's lots of names, huh? It's just unbelievable. It's very touching. Uh, we've had some Vietnam veterans who couldn't even go to the wall. They were within 500 foot, and they said, I, I can't go any further. I got friends' names on that wall over there. He was the first lieutenant him and the pilot got shot down and they survived the crash, but then they were captured. Ken was probably early 20s and from New York and loved Hellman's mayonnaise. <laughs> I just did some history and I found out that I saw his name and put it all together and I sent him this picture. And I said, your dad was one of the coolest guys I ever met. And he sent back, I'm glad to know that my dad was cool. Of course, it's really emotional when we go to Arlington and watch the chain of the guard, the tomb of the unknown soldier. That really hits home with a lot of veterans who lost comrades when they were in the thick of fighting. When you think about the three eras that we honor on an honor flight, World War II, Korean, and Vietnam, none of them ever had an official welcome home. So this is the one thing we can do for all our veterans to welcome home the appropriate way. Dear hero, welcome home. We sure hope your trip to Washington, D.C. was absolutely wonderful. May God bless you today and always thank you for your service. I feel like celebrity. I think all of us veterans, we just feel so happy. And we do want to take a moment to recognize one of the veterans we spoke to for this story, Clinton Springgate. He passed away last night before he got to see this special. WDRB was honored to tell his story, and we offer our condolences to his family and his friends. His passing highlights the mission of Honor Flight Bluegrass and why it's so important to pay tribute 
to those who have served our country